Happy Friday, Falcons fans. It's a pretty good Friday Memorial Day weekend for everyone. Maybe not DeAndre Hopkins. I don't know. Depending on how he looks at the situation here, he was released by the Cardinals, so he's out a big contract, but he can sign wherever he would like. So now we're going to break down the idea of the Falcons potentially signing DeAndre Hopkins. Does it make sense for, for Terry Fontenot and company? Now, before we further explore this potential move this is why you subscribe to the channel producer nick roloff and i on a friday we're gonna hit the links we're gonna go enjoy our day off but when deandre hopkins got released you better believe we were gonna get into the office to get a video out to all of you so make sure to subscribe because if a move gets made we will keep you guys in the know now some background information here as we all know by now d hop was released but not a post-June 1st release. Now, if you're unfamiliar with what post-June 1 cut means, basically, if you release a guy after June 1st, the dead money you still owe him, you can split that between this season and next season, which a lot of teams like to do if that's a big number, so it's not a whole lot of dead money on one season. The Cardinals are not doing that. They are releasing him prior to June 1st, so $22.6 million in dead money. This is the money ball line, right? We're paying him $22.6 million to play on another team. But you kind of move on from this after one season, no dead money in 2024, and he's not on your books for the next two seasons. So some pros and cons to both sides. Now, Hopkins, the last four years, I would argue has still been a good to great wide receiver. We haven't seen him play a full season since 2020, and back then he put up 1,400 yards and six touchdowns. But last season, he missed uh, six games due to PED suspension, and despite that, he still posted 700 yards and three touchdowns, and Kyler Murray was not his quarterback throughout those nine games. So D-Hop, in my opinion, is still a great player. Is he still a top 10 wide receiver? It's tough to say definitively because you got so many great young up-and-coming guys that are kind of edging out some of the uh, old bulls, if you will, and making room for the Jamar Chases and this new era of wide receivers. But you know who's not pushing DeAndre Hopkins out of the top 10? Matt Collins, Scotty Miller, Kaderil Hodge. DeAndre Hopkins is no doubt way better than them. He's probably better than Drake London, but I like London's upside for the future. But I think the Falcons could definitely improve this room by adding DeAndre Hopkins. So with that being said, Chime in for me down in the comment section. Do you want to sign DeAndre Hopkins? Do you believe this is in the best interest for the Atlanta Falcons? I'm really curious what you guys are going to have to say about this one. So let your voices be heard in the comment section below. For me, I'd sign him. Yeah, why not? Are you telling me if you get a notification from Falcons today, turn your notifications on, that the Atlanta Falcons have signed DeAndre Hopkins, you're going to throw your phone into the couch and start mother effing the world? No, you're going to be excited, right? The Falcons, with their FCS cupcake schedule, will add a legit wide receiver to this room, help Desmond Ritter either progress and you'll learn if he's the franchise quarterback, or he's going to be relegated to a professional handoffer, which kind of might be anyway, but still, you definitely get some more talent on this roster. There's no doubt about it. Now, DeAndre Hopkins recently joined the, I believe, I Am Athlete podcast and talked about on what he's looking for in a team. And he said, what I want is stable management upstairs. I think that's something I haven't really had the past couple years of my career coming from Houston and then to Arizona. I've been through four, three or four GMs in my career, so a stable management. A QB who loves the game, a QB who brings everyone on board with him and pushes not just himself, but everyone around him. And a great defense. A great defense wins championships. And when I look at those three things he's looking for, do the Falcons check all those boxes with a big, bold Sharpie? Maybe not. Maybe one of those like thin Sharpies, you know what I'm talking about? They definitely have a good front office. Is it the best in the NFL? No, it's a pretty young nucleus so far between, you know, Ryan Pace and Terry Fontenot. Uh, when it comes to a quarterback who loves the game, I think Desmond Ritter loves the, loves the game. I don't know. It's only a second season, but I can say this much. Everyone on the Falcons offense coming out of OTAs has been raving about the type of leadership Desmond Ritter brings when he steps into that huddle. So I'm going to believe he likes football, right? I like football. You like football. Desmond Ritter likes football. Do they have a great defense? Yeah. Uh, nah, this, this is a tough one. Not going to lie. This is a tough one to persuade you guys to do. Uh, it's better. How about that? 
It's better than DeAndre Hopkins. It's better than last season's. Now, D-Hop recently did put out a list of preferred quarterbacks. Josh Allen, Jalen Hurts, Patrick Mahomes, Lamar Jackson, and Justin Herbert. So, no Desmond Ritter, but you know what? If those five teams don't play ball, money talks, and Terry Fontenot still has some cash to burn coming out of free agency, so... Maybe he decides, let's give our young quarterback a veteran receiver, throw some money his way, D-Hop from the Southeast. Maybe he wants to make a return to the, you know, Southeast area of the United States and hang out in the Peach State. Now, we recently got some odds on DeAndre Hopkins' next team, and there's no Falcons logo on screen, so I can't stand here and pretend like the Falcons are a slam dunk favorite to get him. But what I can offer you is we got the number one ambassador in all of sports, Cordell Patterson, going to work on the Twitter streets, tweeting out, hashtag new profile pick, and it's Cordell Patterson. So you know that someone in the office at Flowery Branch is doing some kind of work to get DeAndre Hopkins to ATL. I don't know if it ends there. We've seen CP84 make a lot of attempts to lure players to whatever team he's on in Twitter. He's not batting a 1,000. But uh, he's above the Mendoza line, I think. So that, ha that has to account for something. So what do you guys think? What is the Falcons' biggest need at this point? Is it wide receiver still? I definitely think so. They've added a lot of players on the defensive side. There's probably not a franchise-leading sack guy coming through the door for the next three to five seasons in, one, in, in this offseason. So I'm looking short-term. And a good short-term fix would be adding a veteran wide receiver to this room, which... I hate to, you know, pile on, but come on, show of hands. Who's excited to see Scotty Miller, Cadillo Hodge, and Frank Darby take the field? If something, God forbid, were to happen to Drake London, this is going to be a wide receiver room that no one remembers in a couple of years. They will remember DeAndre Hopkins. Desmond Ritter will definitely help move the ball down the field. If he misses a throw here or there, D-Hop is one of the best at adjusting, right? He's one of the best in the game at almost every element of being a wide receiver, but he is definitely going to help bring a young quarterback along and maybe smooth over some of the mistakes that Ritter makes and D-Hop makes up for. You're not getting that in the, rest, in the rest of this wide receiver room. Now, make sure to subscribe if you have not already. We keep you guys in the know all offseason long. So if you're looking for a Falcons YouTube channel that's going to keep you up to date on all the latest buzz out there in the NFL world, we are your channel. Thank you.